So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate the scary silhouette from the short film Lights Out. So that was a part of a short film I filmed a while back and that's exactly what we're going to be recreating in After Effects. So what you're going to need to create this is a tripod, a camera, and some lights. And if you don't have lights, you can just buy cheap clamp lights for like $10 or you could just take some lights if you don't want to spend any money. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your camera on a tripod and it is very important for you not to move or else this effect won't work. Now you're going to want to film your subject turning the lights off and on. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. It's completely up to you. After that, you're going to want to leave your camera on record and like I said, don't move your camera or else this effect won't work. So now you're gonna wanna set up your lights, blowing out the background completely and you wanna set your subject in front of those blown out lights. So now you're gonna wanna go into your camera, exposing the blown out highlights. So in my case, I would just turn the wheel on my DSLR, closing down my aperture. And if you're filming on a smartphone, you can just tap to focus on the blown out highlights and you should get similar results. So you're gonna wanna stand there for about a minute just to be safe. After you have all your footage, let's go ahead and jump into After Effects so I can show you guys how to put all this together. All right guys, so we're here in After Effects. I haven't done anything but import my footage. so I'm show you guys how to create it so i'm gonna go ahead and go to this clip right here and find where i'm turning off and on the lights and on all right so that's all we need so we're gonna go ahead and cut so it's command shift d and it'll cut the clip um so it's gonna make two separate clips so we're gonna go ahead and find the second clip which would be when i'm just standing there uh as a silhouette so let's go ahead and see i probably up to there would be fine that's why it's important to stay there for a while that we have enough footage to just fill it in so you have that right there so um, when i turn off the light i'm gonna go ahead and put it over it the lights are completely off so i'm gonna go and drag that on top of there so this is what you're gonna have so far boom so that's why it's important to set up on a tripod so when you mask around this there won't be no movement it won't look weird and everything will look natural so you're gonna want to select the first layer right here the one with the silhouette so it would be this one right here you're gonna click the map then just mask around here you don't want to mask around right there and that's pretty good so i went a little too far so maybe like right there would be fine and you can see there's actually a border there, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. You're gonna click the F on the clip where you mask. You're gonna feather it probably like 50%. That way you won't get such a rough edge. So it's kind of choppy. So to fix this, you're actually gonna wanna go a few frames before the lights are actually off. So up to there, you wanna drag it up to there, and then you're gonna wanna click T on the layer of the silhouette. You're gonna click opacity, zoom in, go when they're completely off so it'd be like right there and you want to click the keyframe again go back to the beginning of the keyframe and put it at zero so it kind of just fades in comes back on it just disappears let's go ahead and fade that out as well because we don't want that we don't want that choppy cut so right there bring the opacity on the keyframe there Um, bring the keyframe over here and then just to the very to the very last end of the clip and then just back to zero so it's gonna fade out and one of the most important parts is to color grade your footage so it can match all together so okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grade this um, part of the silhouette so I'm gonna go ahead and click magic bullet you guys don't have to color correct with magic bullets like I said I just color correct with magic bullets as my preference but there's nothing there's nothing advanced I'm doing here in magic bullet you can literally do it with any color correction tools you guys have all right so now that I have the clip here I'm gonna go ahead and go to the three-way color and I'm gonna drop down the shadows or like right there would be pretty nice. So I just noticed that it does look a bit off and that's because there was a bit of camera movement as you can see, look I'll go frame by frame. Right there, yeah, like there was a bit of camera movement, and that's why it's so important to put it on a tripod. I actually called one of my friends to do this for me, and he kind of moved the camera when I was looking back at the footage. But when you guys are doing this, you guys are going to want to make sure that there is no camera movement, so you guys won't have this little little cut right here. It's not that noticeable, but 
you know, it could be a lot better. So yeah, guys, other than that, that's basically how you recreate the silhouette from lights out, or this is the way I did it in that preview in the beginning. So yeah, guys, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll try to answer them and make sure you don't have any camera movement like I did here. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Any feedback would be appreciated. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.